Hello guys and welcome to another Blender tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do automotive renders in Blender. So this is not a materials tutorial and it's not how to make this car. It's just how to set up the like studio and the lighting. And this is for um, EV as well. I'm going to be making this car available along with this file that we're making, um, the setup that we're doing on my Patreon. So for those of you who are patrons, you'll be getting this as an asset because it's mine. I'm giving it out. You guys can use it for whatever you want. Um, so just keep an eye out for that, those of you on Patreon. If you already have a vehicle to work with, go ahead, get into Blender. And if you want one and you don't have one, just go to something like BlendSwap. There's a ton of really, really awesome free ones online that come with like pre-made EV materials and everything. So go ahead, do that. And then let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is add in our floor and our backdrop. So that's all gonna be one object. So we're gonna go Shift A and we're gonna add in a um, circle. And you can see here that is the circle there. Tab into edit mode. And I just like to go into vertex select. And with all these vertices selected, I'm going to go E to extrude and S to scale. And we're just going to scale that out. And then we're just going to select this loop of vertices again, scale it in a bit, and then just hit F to fill those faces. That should be fine. So now that we've done that, we've got the start of the circle. Select this loop of vertices on the outside again. E to extrude and then S to scale. And we're gonna scale it out about this much. And then we're gonna go E to extrude again, S to scale a little bit more. And then this time we're gonna go E to extrude, S to scale. We're gonna go quite a bit more, about this much. And at that point, we're gonna go G and then Z and we're gonna move this up like that. In fact, maybe just a little bit more down. And then what we're gonna do is go to a modifiers tab. We're gonna give this guy a subdivision surface modifier. Tab out of edit mode, go to object and enable shade smooth. Now we have this nice back, um, studio environment here and you can scale it at any time like this because our pivot point is in the origin here. Our origin point is right here where our pivot point is, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm getting 3 ds Mac confused here. But anyway, so we have our origin point there in the middle. Just makes things easier. So now we have our car sitting on here, we can add in some of our lights. So first of all, just go to our render settings and we're gonna make sure the render engine is set to EV since this tutorial is for EV, but you could do similar thing in cycles. Enable ambient occlusion, that's really important. We want that nice ambient occlusion. Um, it's just gonna give us some more contrast with like details. And also come here and enable screen space reflection. Now screen space reflection, just make sure to drop down here and enable the refraction. Um, so because we're going to be working, like I'm assuming that your car will have refractive materials like glass, which mine does. This is not a materials tutorial, but if you do, it's important that you enable refraction. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to go Shift A, we're going to go to our light options. Add in an area light, they work really good. And we're going to go G, Z, bring this area light up. We're then going to go S and an X and we're going to scale this area light along the X. The reason we're doing this, instead of having this like a square light, it just looks nicer to have these kind of like long strips of lighting. And they're kind of very similar to what you'd see um, if you ever went to like a car display or something where they're keeping cars indoors and they sometimes have these long um, lights on hanging on the top of the roof and it just creates like these streaks and it makes this really nice look on the car. So we're gonna make this first light here like this. And we're gonna to come to our light settings. Now, if you have a really big scene, so let's assume your car is a lot bigger than mine in the scene, like your car is 50 meters big, whatever, and you didn't scale it to real world scale, you might have to come in here and really bump this power up as it might be weak. So this power amount here is gonna vary. But if we hit Z and we go into rendered view, we're gonna see here in my case, like I'm gonna to have to go way up. So I'm gonna drag this value up and I'm gonna take it to about, um, actually I'm gonna, because I'm gonna be duplicating it, I'm gonna make mine about 200. So I'll type in 200 and this amount may vary for you. It really depends. And then once we've done that, we're gonna go shift D to duplicate it and then Y, move it over to the side. We can go back to the solid view. And then with that guy selected, we're gonna go R, Y and, oh sorry, R, X and rotate it in on the X. And then do the same thing on the other side. Shift D, Y, move it over. Now I'm just assuming your car is like, once again, it might be a different direction for you. If your car is facing this way, um, you could do the other way around. So in this case, we just have these two that we're putting on the side like this. And they also have a strength of 200. So let's go into rendered view. And we can already see we're getting this really nice look on the car. We're getting these really nice reflections. 
and we have our backdrop here. But if the backdrop is too dark for you, I'm going to show you in a second what we can do. But for now, let's just add in a camera. So what I like to do with my camera is I like to go into my viewport and position my viewport um, in the position that I roughly want the camera to be at. I'm going to go Shift A. Then I'm going to add in a camera. The camera is now active. You can see that in our scene. Hit zero. That'll take you into the camera view. G and then the middle mouse button on your mouse and you can zoom back. So I'm going to go something like this. And then you can just hit G and that'll move your camera around. And also another little tip, if you hit R twice, you can um, rotate the camera on its local um, pivot point or origin point. So I'm going to go something like this. Maybe you rotate it up a little bit more. Now this is up to you, but I really kind of like this look on my cars where you can see you can see kind of like a little bit under the car, but also you can see the top. I don't like it too much down. Like you will sometimes get people who will do like a view like that. And maybe that's something you like. There's a lot of different options here. But for me personally, what I like and my personal taste is something like this. It's kind of like seeing a little bit of the top of the car. You get these nice reflections in, that you, you want to see. But at the same time, you can kind of see this nice contrasty bits under here as well, which I really like. So that's going to be my camera position for now. And like I said, if you want a dark backdrop, a background like that, you can just leave it like this. So this is essentially your world. And you can then go Shift A if you don't, if you want a little bit more light, add in an area light. G, Z, bring this guy up and then scale this one up really big. So this is going to be a really big area light. So scale it up and then G, Z, move it up. And let's bring the power on this guy up a lot because it's really big it's going to need a lot of power and you can see here the more i increase that now the more that it's getting lighter and lighter values here towards the rim so if you want to go into your camera view and you mess around with this power setting here you can see what's happening there in the background so this is a really nice little slider to mess around with till you get something that you like so i'm going to go with something like that and i like it a little bit dark in the background so we get some nice contrast for the reflections going on here on the metallic parts and with that um, now done, I'm also going to go to my world settings. And, and uh, you guys might have yours different. By default, I have mine set to a darker value here. But yours might be in the gray level here. So if you're not seeing what I'm seeing, make sure you come to your world um, environment and bring this value down. And the reason we're making it really black is so that's going to give us some nice high contrast areas here, which is just really going to make this pop. So make sure you come to your world settings and um, don't have any high values there. As dark as you can get, the better. So that's how I do my lighting setup. Now, one more thing I might do is just grab this light over here, Shift D and bring it towards the camera and then rotate it in towards the car. And then I'm just gonna rotate it up a little bit more and then bring it down a bit. And that's just gonna give me a little bit more um, lighting down here but i'm going to go to my light settings and the strength on this one i'm going to make it only 80. so it's not quite too dark in some of these shady areas here so yeah that's looking really cool and like i said this is not a materials tutorial and by the way if your light if your glass materials are, are not showing what you might have to do is go to your materials just go to your settings and make sure to enable screen space reflections on that and um and make this guy alpha hashed and the bottom one here alpha hashed as well. So that's sometimes why you might not be having the effect that you're looking for. So here we go. That's pretty much it. Um, you can grab this guy here, rotate it and move it around till you kind of have the reflections you're looking for here at the front as well. So I'm feeling like it's a little bit not quite where I want it down there. So I might grab this guy just bump the power up, move it a little bit more in front of the car. Like that. But it's totally up to you guys, mess around with it, um, see what you like. Um, if for some reason I had something enabled there with the Chrome that I didn't want. But yeah, this is my lighting setup. This is how I do my automotive renders. So I'm gonna quickly just go into the render here and just render the image and show you guys what it looks like. And there we have it. So that is how I do the automotive renders. And another little thing you can do is you can actually even grab this environment, um, this plane that it's all sitting on. And you can actually give that a material, go to the surface and then mess around with this color slider here. If you wanted a little bit of a darker 
um, surface for it to sit on. Another cool trick you can do is you can also come here to the roughness value and decrease it and you can kind of get that nice car reflection on the surface. It's also another thing you can do. So just a few little tips. There's a lot of possibilities with this, so it's just for you guys to kind of experiment with and see what works for you. So if we just quickly give this a render, you can see um, what difference that makes. So um, this is kind of how I approach doing my cars, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And once again, this car here is one of my own, so I'm gonna be making it available on my Patreon as an asset to you guys, which you can use. Um, and yeah, do whatever you want with it. So I'll see you guys later and thank you for watching.